Hey guys, so this is going to be a two minute video. So if you have one of these, it's a Tesla 16 volt battery that's dead. Uh, I'm going to show you basically three ways to uh, try to get it up and running. The first way is you have it plugged into the car and then you're going to um, put your foot on the brakes and try to see if it'll charge. And you're going to test it with a multimeter. So basically you will put it in DC the connectors and positive and negative. And as long as you're getting the voltage and it's going down, you should have a chance to be able to recover it. Even if it's at zero, I would still tell you, tell you to try it because to replace it, you're looking at 200 to 250 bucks or even more depending on where you live. So the first way, like I said, you'll just plug it in and let your um, HV battery charge it um, that's the easiest way the second way is basically you will take a jump box um, unplug your 16 volt battery take your jump box plug it into the positive and negative terminals and then a, a, a get in the car put your foot on the brakes and let the car start without you plugging in the 16 volt battery um, what that will do is it forces it to um, bypass the 16 volt battery which will um, open up the MOSFETs that you need to get fixed. Uh, once you've done that then you're going to get back out of the car you're going to go in and, and plug the connector back in. Uh, once you plug it back in you're going to hear a couple of popping and clicking that means the connectors are getting open which what it does is it forces it to charge the 16 volt battery because it meets all the conditions meaning the the circuits need to be um, the MOSFETs need to be hot, uh, which means once that's hot, it's going to force any power it is to try to re uh, recover this battery. Um, the, th uh, the third way, um, which is basically opening it up. So what you would do is, as you can see, there is a plastic piece here, a plastic piece here, and four screws. So take out the four screws. Um, you can basically pop this off. So if you look underneath, you can just take a flathead screwdriver and just hammer it out. And then what you'll do is, this is just caulking around it. So what you'll do is you'll heat it up very, very lightly and slowly, and please wear gloves. Um, and you will probably, um, uh, to keep you from getting burnt. And you'll also need to get um, electrical gloves uh, so you don't get shocked. So basically, once you open it up, you'll have two terminals. You'll have one on this, once you open it up, you'll have one terminal here, one terminal here. Um, so this one down here that you'll see is a positive, and, and this one up here is going to be the negative. You basically have to get a 17 volt um, adapter, which I will post um, the link to. You can get it on Amazon. It's about 10, maybe 12 dollars, um, which uh, will help recover it. And you also need to put a, vol a voltmeter on both of those because you don't want to overcharge it. Um, once you get to your 14.5 volts, you'll unplug it, put it back in your car, and it should be up and running. Um, like I said, I'll do a little bit more in-depth video once I get all this opened uh, to show you guys how it's done or give you a link to uh, one of our fellow uh, Tesla guys who's done, uh, who's done this before uh, to give him some credit as well. Thank you for your time. So hopefully, hopefully this helps you guys.